marker. Clarification, if you have not been in here, which I'm sure you have been. If you haven't seen these, uh, Madden 21 Challenge, uh, Franchise Mode, Fantasy Draft, Youngest Players are on top, every position. And then I had to take the worst out of the top 10 of every position. I am currently... Oops. I am currently three and four. And I'm playing the Vikings. Rivalry game. I got a lot of money to spend. I have to... I have to um, re-sign every player to a two-year contract. I cannot sign anyone in free agency, which is something different from my previous challenge, which I could sign one player for per week on free agency. So like if free agency was five weeks, I could sign five players. I can draft anywhere, any position I want. So I have seven new people coming in. And I have to be very specific about where those people come from, what positions I need. Pretty much anything is going to be an upgrade. But... The problem is, is some of my positions are already upgrading on their own based on how they're playing in these games. So I have to be extremely careful about who I draft, where. Probably get another couple games in tonight. That's what I've been doing, so keep that alive. Um... First carry now for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. And he'll be up in the 20-yard Three yard gain. Line. Good tackle, though. Three yard gain there. The numbers for him from a week ago. 18 carries, 54 yards, and a touchdown. They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got to start thinking a little bit differently, maybe a little bit outside of the box. Find other ways to move the football. There you go. You're going to do it through the air. Good tackle. How you establish your run game. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. There you go. For Julian Edelman. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Call it a pickup of three. And Problem is going to make sure of both offense and defense. Well, we so, it's going to make it work. Become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially to play like this one. Throw it down. The game the underneath stuff. The As I said, this is a challenge. This is not something easy. This is not something that I want to win every game at. I mean, eventually, yes, but right now, no. It's just not possible, right? They run here with Jason I do have some really strong players at certain positions. Running back is one of them. He is fast as hell. I did just reset my. We're on the quarterback, so we decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good substitutions, which is good. But every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's inside or the quarterback keeps it. I had a different starting quarterback first few games of the season as well, so I've made some changes there. Back to back good plays. How long to move? First down. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And brought down, but not before. Just trying my best to put up a good effort on, at each game. I mean, for 12 and a first constantly down. trying to evolve and be better than what I was before. Away. Fucking A, I knew I should have thrown that. Marcus May with a pick. My fault. I thought if I threw it short and underneath, it would have uh, came to a better position than that. But it's okay. Shit happens. 
It may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier. Oh, shit happens. On to the next one. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. So the previous play, a big help, is now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get that field, get to what we call the second and the third levels, you know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Now they tackle that time by James Lynch. From just shy of midfield, Allen finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And it's going to be another first Defense did great first drive, and now they're buckling because my offense gave the ball in. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves to James. First Jesus. Taylor now. Breaks the tackles, got room to run. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. So here's a first and 10. And especially with five minute quarters, like it's not easy. Score after one on EA Sports. to Taylor on first down. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. On second down now. It's Taylor. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. There we go. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Is that Gill? That's going to go nope, as a Dotson. loss of one on first down. Well, I know a defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. Escaping. I fucking... Oh, really? I have to look at that. Team touchdowns now on the year. As his guys are first down to the scoreboard here this afternoon. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7 0 the score as they start first and 10. I just need to get rid of it. He was trying to get it that time to Brian Edwards. And that'll bring up second down. Play action this time with Love. Thank you. Probably should have threw that last time, too. Is it on Game Pass or something, Blue? So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control. And they can fake Fuck. Back right into it because I'm sitting there watching another person. You chin it, and Wonsu got the sack there. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. A run with Hundley. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Love from the gun. Man, open it's Moss complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, no, the defense the shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. 1999. Second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. 
A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Working out of the gun, Love. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Going back to Love, eluding the pressure right. Here's Moss with a catch out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. Now again, it's Love. He's going to walk for deep left. Why in the fuck is he running so slow? Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So a line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Throwing again. Love. And this one in Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. That's complete to Moss out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 22 there on the third down. Oh, my fucking God. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. He will take this across midfield and down on the 48-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sideline. The coach is going to check on it. His teammate's going to check on it. Because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. Flush down right. Good. We needed that. Well, that's unfortunate because he had a nice run going, but give credit to the defense. They got a hand in the cookie jar there, CD. You have to think about vision, finding a place to get down after you know you've gotten all you can out of a run. And obviously, ball security is paramount. In today's football, Everyone's coming after the rock. You've got to make sure you protect it and protect the yardage you just gained. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. From the gun, Love is going to fire one deep over the middle. Another interception. You're serious? You got to be fucking kidding me. We're not even going to try anymore. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them. And he did exactly that. I used to have a coach tell us all the time. A lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. We now proceed to the start of the second half. It'll be Lions football to start the second half. And they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. All right. Enough of the stupid plays. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator. Oh, my God. Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Operating from the gun. Love. And quick throw here. That's complete. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Now a second down throw for Love here. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick. And it's third down. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. 
A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. From the gun, Love. That's into the hands of Edwards. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Open man is it moves, he's got it. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes this Holy one shit. for a Lions touchdown. Jason Hudley, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Lions have got it back to a one-score game. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning... All right, defense just needs to play and get me the ball back. And hopefully I can do the same thing and then either go into overtime or do it one more time. Stop one more time. So here are the Vikings to take over. They've dropped four straight games coming into this one, remember, but they have the lead here. Throwing on first down is Allen. Over the middle, Julian Edelman. It's complete. He'll He's only thrown four times. Six across the 30 the to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They give to Taylor out of the gun. Oh, you gotta be fucking serious. Uh, and he will finally be wrestled down. 21 yard line. A big play there for Minnesota. 47 yards. So you got the lead here in the second half. Obviously, you love big runs like that at any time. Here, you really like them. And how about the confidence that's being exhibited by that offense now? They don't care what you're running up doing on the defensive side. Remember, I said I needed to stop them. And carry it off. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. On the draw is Taylor. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football. Almost like body blows in boxing. Slow them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. And Here's where these five-minute quarters really hurt me. For this third quarter of action, you are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Behind the chain, second and 12. <laughs> so the shotgun snap to Allen, and he takes a shot the release as this will be incomplete kelsey the intended receiver there and it's third down oh that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there and it would have been the first sack of the game instead they're able to influence the release and they did force the incomplete pass throwing his Allen on third a good job there defensively they did allow him to drive all the way downfield but once they got their backs to the goal line they really turned up the pressure yeah they let him get all the way down here now the field shrinks they struggle to convert and that last incompletion brings up four a big one there that gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game yeah let a little time off the clock put some points on the board it's not totally out of reach yet but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender you go out on the Damn. field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. I don't care what you win. You know this. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. There he goes. Right oh, you mean like one play quickly? Detroit. Is that what you mean? Brian Edwards. 
77 yards. And the Lions able to get this back within a touchdown. I saw him just barely stumble. I'm like, I gotta get it. I gotta get this out of my hands. Now they're right back in this game. Did it feel to you as it did to me that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. And no return here from Westbrook. This will be a touchback. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What the, Jesus, second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This to me, Shit. he's got to take over right now. By word, pumping his team up, and he was by deed with his partner. That's what coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. Indeed means action. Exactly. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Taylor. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll <laughs> lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz Pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run. <gasps> the the Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They'll run it here with Huntley. And they'll this down to the 40 yard line. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Love. And this will be caught by Edwards. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Fuck. My fault. 100% me. Wasn't even anything that anybody else did. It was just me. David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Love now on second down. Flush to his right. right side here. I had to get rid of it. It's complete, but I don't think I got very much out of it. To go in the fourth. So now, let's do this. So the Lions in possession see if Edwards can't open up. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Smart play, smart play. Fuck yes, let's go. No third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. On first down, Huntley. And he'll get into the end. Okay, now it's defense's turn again. Jason Huntley, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Lions have taken the lead. Shit. And touchdown, Ooh. and congratulations, that was scary. and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. 
The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now. Is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. You guys are standing there around him. Fuck. Inside the tray before he's brought down. The Vikings get a signal for the first of their timeouts. As they get I hate that. The they're lined up against people, and they're like, oh, never mind. I'm going to go guard this guy instead. Now. Here's a first and ten. Now Allen. <gasps> no fucking way, man. I even said underneath. Wow. Wow. How many people watching this one right here gave up because that score? They might want to try and rush back into this stadium. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be the game deciding score. No, that time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Right, they better come back in here and watch this one because Shit. you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. On the return, here's Hall. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their They're not going to make the same mistake that it last time, are they? This one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. He'll look to throw. <laughs> Fuck you. I always get hit as I throw. Well, shit happens. Defense has to get better. Has to. There's no point in using them. Okay, so three and what? And I tell you what, they were big favorites coming in, but they had to work for this one. Yeah, so there wasn't a walk in the three and that you expected. Wait, was I three and six? No, I haven't played that many games yet. Three and five? Now I'm three and six? There's nothing I can do about popularity right now. Three and five. I'm three and five now. One more game. I need to train somebody else besides Edwards. I mean, I know he's a good player, but I'm giving him so much attention that no one else is getting better um Who do I need? Oh, 
Wow. Didn't see that coming. Didn't see that coming either. Perfect. What am I now? Probably not that much better. I was a 60 overall before. 60-61-ish. And my top three players are all wide receivers. There's a corner, linebacker, and another wide receiver. So that's why this is so hard. It's just like I have the worst. The only I think the only players that I have that are above a 70 right now are wide receivers. And my one outside linebacker. Oh, and my safety that I just found. But other than that, I don't have very many people. Today, from Ford Today. Field in Detroit, it's week 10. What's really funny is I beat the Colts and they just smoked the Titans. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And no run back here. I don't even know who these guys quarterback is. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And he'll be upended at the Not bad. Yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Good defense. The rushing numbers for Fournette from last week. 14 carries, 56 yards. I can't remember the last time we did a game and a coach didn't talk about establishing the run first. But they've lost two straight games. So if they still want to do that, but they've got to have some contingencies oh, fuck. some other options. Expect to maybe throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run it a little bit more later in the game. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Now Leonard Fournette. Jesus. And he's corralled, but not All these guys are going to do is run it down my throat. That's fucking it. More on that one and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing lead. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Nice job, Dotson. Don't fucking celebrate. Extra time preparing for this game, watching this offensive line, because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right, four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people just like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit. Good goal. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. I don't think Stafford's going to just take off and run on me. So I'm trying to play it methodical with him instead of trying to do something stupid. So. Hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game, limited to just short runs, as he can really impact this offense. Well, of course, you want to find the end zone, but, you know, you go on the road, you get three points. I think you take it. Yeah, pretty good start to the day for him, don't you think? Right, you go out there, get the three points, now look. It's not going to silence this crowd, but it might take a little bit of steam out of them right off the top. Here's Jason Huntley, the rookie from New Mexico State. There we go. He's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right of the yard. North of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what. He understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. On third down. There we go. But not before picking up the first. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. 
They go bootleg. Love sliding out of the pocket. And he finds a man in the crossing round. Fuck yes. Let's go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Lions have taken the lead. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flushed from the pocket, a lot of times you see him, eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off becomes a running back. But as you noted, stayed alive as a passer, tremendous body control, and a pretty good arm there, too. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive oh, to the end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them didn't want to drive to the end with a kick. And nothing but daylight ahead. 20. Touchdown, Washington. Really? Curtis Samuel, his fifth touchdown now on the year. First down at Stanford. There we go. It's pressure too strong. Down he goes. And there they bring pressure from the inside and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. Yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. There we go. Good defense. After getting this one across the 40, he did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now, fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. That's all right. It's all right. 47 yard punt, a return of just three. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. They'll run on first down. Huntley, and he takes this across the 15 to the 17. The tackle will be credited to Jake Ryan. On the run, it's Huntley. Ah, and damn it. A lot to speak of there, so bring him down shy of the 20. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Off the bootleg. Love escaping the pressure running. He's got his man on the crossing round. And he is going to have a Lions first down. Isn't that funny? It's the same play sequence that I did the last time. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Love now to pass on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Edwards. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Seven yards the pick up there. Oh down. my god. 63 do your fucking job. It'll go down as a two yard loss and it brings up a third down. Rolling to his run. What? Defensively that time they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. Huh? You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Fournette, a first down carry, and they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Two minutes to play in this first half, 7-3. I definitely thought that I threw that underneath to him low. 
We'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll make it third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses. And how about this, a fake? Hey, fucking dropped it, thank God. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They snap they that so the fast. It doesn't work out, and the Lions will take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 42. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. That catch good for only a couple. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Out of the shotgun. It's what the ball. fuck? Come on, love. He was trying to get it that time to Brian Edwards. And that'll make it third down. From the gun, Love. And that is incomplete. Now well, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly. And he'll force the incompletion. And now a high kick here as he'll try to cover this one. Fair kick, single four, and taken just shy of the Terrible three. punt, that's okay. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Leonard Fournette making his way back out there. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's He's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit. And get Can't keep up with my linebackers. It's insane. On the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? <laughs> On first and ten, Stafford. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. He showed off the athletic juke, but it didn't buy him a whole lot of real estate. Now Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford, middle of the field. It's Robinson. Damn it. Now Washington going to use the second of their My three fault. timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Come on, let's go. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Again, it's Stafford. Reception here by Ruggs. And down inside the 15 he goes. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. From the red zone now, Stafford. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. To the air again, Stafford. Open man is Samuel, complete. And a broken tackle could not free him. Taken down right at the 10-yard line. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making them sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. The kick by Carlson is good. That's okay. And they'll get it back still got the lead for now. I think we get the ball right away. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller. Very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with nice bounce in their step. And get a little bit closer on the scoreboard. 
I think we do anyway. Not 100 percent sure, actually. Yep, we get the ball. Carlson now to kick this one away. On the return, here's Hall. That's actually a decent ball. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. God damn, I just can't. He's like super shifty and it's almost too much. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. That was a bad run. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves him with third and just a couple. Time to burn the clock. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On first down, Huntley, and he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. They go again with Huntley. And they get him down to the 47 here. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They'll run on first down. Huntley. A gain of three, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. Like, okay, I can stand up. There you go, there you go. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 26. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. First down, going to the air with love. And that is incomplete. That's okay. They had hold on through the contact. Brings a bunch up of people down. in stupid positions on that one. One point game as they line up second and ten. <laughs> to throw again, love. It's complete to people's Jones. and he takes it down to the ten yard line. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. God damn, that sure guy. Pick up there down to about the nine. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Working out of the gun. Long. stage in the second half those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from and when you're a rookie keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around Fuck. you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates but the other part 
You gotta learn how to finish. The two Fs for a rookie quarterback. Completely just screwed myself. After a gain of four, they'll contain him to just four. Second down. Out of the gun, Stafford. What are you? And that worked as well upfield across the 45. Do that again, Brian. Do it again. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pitch. And he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. <laughs> on first down, Stafford here. That's going to be caught by Samuels. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. First carry for Josh Adams. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the five yard line. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one point game. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Oh, yeah. I don't know Fournette. why I did something His stupid, dude. I don't season. understand what the fuck Washington I was thinking. Washington has retaken the lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. Exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. On the return, here's Hall. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. I've got time. I do not need to be stupid right now. So now the Lions down on the scoreboard. A minute 53 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's complete. It's Jensen Huntley. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got What in the fuck? That was loud. I floated it so that he could get some distance. Dumb. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And that was so stupid. Up at about the 47 yard line. I floated it so that he could get Lions distance between. The their and I should know better. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. <laughs> they'll run it again with Fournette. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. <laughs> now it's Stafford. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Oh, shit, dude. All that guy has to do is make a fucking tackle. The Lions quickly now are going to use the last of their timeouts. 
as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. And not totally home free yet, Fuck. but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And they will take a knee here. Fuck. Stupid throws, Stafford. man. Stupid throws just cripple me. He's going to ensure his guys a victory. Shit happens. There's nothing I can do. So a victory here for the Washington football team. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They just got to get better. In the Have to get better. <sighs> line couldn't move theirs. They had two defensive linemen that were fucking all stars. So I don't know what else I'm supposed to do on that. Three and six now. Oh, good. Ezekiel Elliott. Jesus, I wonder what they're going to do to me. Every team has just a dominant line, and all they have to do is run the ball. More upgrades are done. Let's get our scouting done so that we're ready just to play our next game whenever that comes. And, you know, none of these have dropped on YouTube yet, but there will. Um, just right now, I'm trying to focus on. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Those are some good late finds right there. I need defense. That's really good. Those are some really good late finds. So I started out as like a 59, now I'm a 62. But like my team, honestly, isn't, they're not getting like crazy better. That's the wrong button. I want to go look at the screen, the lineup. Like my quarterback, I don't think he's, leveled in forever. Stevens is actually better than he is and I can't get him to fucking do his job. Let's go to the practice squad. So these guys though, I didn't sign. So that's a problem. Like I got to be careful here because this is a slippery slope. Cuz like technically this guy Ray, and he's Can I Automatically, no, it's going to tell me I have to do it. Let's let's generate the best lineup. And actually, we need to get one that fits 86, 90. I bet 90 is our best fit. 90, 90. Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay. That's perfect. I want that. I want a better fit for all my players. Look at that. Now everybody's like, look at me. Let's go ahead and generate the best lineup. So there's Gil, 71, right? But like even my practice players... Like, this guy, Ray, is a 59. 64. My ends are not any better. 
I mean, I literally have the best players in that I can have in, and I'm still just... I wonder if Gil can start at middle linebacker two and still be number one off. Like, yeah, I think he could. Let me check that. Defense. Middle linebacker. Yeah, he's a, but he's only a 60. His speed's an 85, though. And if I don't have him on the field, I think I need to. And then you would be Garrett. And then you would be McLaren. Yeah. That's pretty good. And then Gil will be the outside starter. Yep. Crazy. Okay. So we didn't change anything. We're 66 overall on defense. It's not any different. Ugh. We have dropped... We were second in the division there for a while. All right, guys. That's it. I appreciate it. I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, it's the end of episode four. Maybe we can get some more episodes in tomorrow or Sunday or sometime soon. Appreciate you guys all hanging out. And hopefully we can turn this thing around pretty quick, even next season. But anyway, I will see you guys next time. Should be tomorrow night. Late. All right. Have a good one.